we know that when light falls on one eye it causes constriction of the pupil not only of that eye but also of the other eye also how well that is because of the light reflex pathway so when light falls on one eye we know that the information is passed on by other rectal ganglion cells the axons of which from the optic nerve and then we already know the optic pathway that the nasal fibers will cross at the optic ism and the temporal fibers will pass as such now the two important nucleus which is important for light reflex pathway is a pretectal nucleus so the second order neuron which arises from the pretectal nucleus goes to another important nucleus which is called the edinger vespar nucleus so see from here the second order neuron passes from the pretectal nucleus to the edinger vespar nucleus and from the edinger vespar nucleus by the cranial nerve 3 which is the oculomotor nerve which reaches the ciliary ganglion and finally the short ciliary nerves will be activated which in turn will cause constriction of the pupil so that is light reflex